Hi friends, Julia here. On this channel, I share with you encouragement, resources, and a little bit of a glimpse into our homeschool. Welcome to another video in my curriculum series for the year 2023 to 2024. This video is going to focus on my fifth graders art curriculum for the year, and that is Artistic Pursuits Drawing Beginner Art, Beginner Level Art Core 1. They have many different projects at Artistic Pursuits. We have been using their K through three books for a while. I think there's eight different editions and it goes through history. We don't have all of them, but we have many of them. We've been really enjoying that. I believe I did a review of one of them, so I will link that here so you could take a look at that in more detail if you would like. Um, this is the next level up. This is designed for fourth through sixth grade. Um, and it's drawing is the first one and then Beginner level art core two is painting. And then I think their intermediate is aimed at seventh, eighth grade, and they have a drawing and a painting for that. And then ninth through 12th, they have like an advanced level drawing and advanced level painting. She's gonna be doing beginner level art core one drawing with graphite pencils. And I'm just gonna give you a look inside the book. So here it is, drawing with graphite pencils, beginner level art core one by Brenda Ellis. These all come with Blu-rays and DVD. There are video lessons on here. I believe you can also get an online curriculum. Um, I don't think it comes with a book. I don't know if it's exactly the same. It may be. I'll look, I'll, I'll link to that below if it's available. There we go. Okay, so here is the table of contents. So you can see all of the units here. I believe each unit has a video lesson. So these would be the different video lessons here. And then there's other things involved. Um, and it tells you what art materials you need and everything. Um, you can purchase an art pack that has all the materials you need in it. And I, I did purchase that and I will show you that after we go through the book. Okay, this is just information for the like parents and for the student. Um, just as a note that recommends uh, how to do a schedule for one semester of art class and it recommends two classes per week. I think we'll do one lesson a week as I'm fine with this taking her the whole year if it, if it needs to. And I think I'm going to do it where I assign her just do that lesson this week and she gets to choose when to do it um, by a certain time in the week. That way uh, I'm trying to ease her into having some of that responsibility for planning some of her work during the week to practice those executive functioning skills. Okay. So here we have the first video lesson. Um, not all of the lessons are video lessons. So that will be her just for that one. She'll need to watch the video. And then um, there's another lesson here. Then we've got an art appreciation lesson. I do really like that this is part of what they do. There's another lesson here. And then we've got another the another video lesson here. So you can kind of see the four. It follows the same format for each unit. We've got a video lesson, we've got a creativity lesson, we've got an art appreciation lesson. We've got applying a different kind of expanding on what you're learning on the lesson here. And then we've got the next unit. Oh, this one's fun. I'm doing reverse drawing. And from what I can tell, these all seem to be American uh, artwork. That one's actually quite lovely. I'm a fan of that style. And it does allow within this for the student, um, as you can see, um, there's different options for what specifically you're drawing as long as you're focusing on the element that you're trying to do in the lesson. Um, so here they're, they're doing a three-dimensional figurine or toy so it can be anything they want. So um, I think that just makes it more interesting and fun for each person. Hmm. 
And a thing I like about the format of these books as well is they're not disposable. So uh, you're working on separate paper and and materials. And so, you know, the, the materials themselves, you'd need to get more. But I can use this for multiple children. Um, if she wants to go back and do a video lesson over or do one of the other lessons over, she can. So I think that's great. Oh, and back here it has an evaluation sheet on how to evaluate. So I haven't read through that yet, but I think I should read through that because I'm not exactly sure how to evaluate that. And then uh, it goes through the objectives they have for the different lessons. So especially as a parent teacher who is not a, a trained artist or art teacher, then I find this really, really helpful. And I feel like this book can really guide her through. And I just, I can be there for, you know, any physical help, but she probably won't need me much. And you could see um, from the topics, it goes through a lot of the elements of, of art, of drawing, you know, line, space, shape, texture, value, form, and then it goes through specific kinds of forms. So I'm very excited to use this. Let me show you the art supplies that I got with it. So when you purchase the art supplies, they come in a little bag. So I've done this with several of their other books as well. So we have a little collection of different color artistic pursuits bags. That's handy. Um, and I will probably, I need to figure out if it's going to stay in the bag or if it's going to go in a basket for her. But let me show you what's in here. It is a little pricey to get all the materials because they are quality materials. I think it's worth it for me not to have to search around for things and make sure I'm finding good quality things. And um, that way this can all just be hers and kept in one spot. And we're not fighting with the four-year-old over the scissors or anything else. So came with scissors, an eraser, a glue stick, pencil sharpener. That's very handy. I constantly need more pencil sharpeners. So there you go there. Um, a bunch of graphite pencils because, you know, she's going to be using those a lot. Um, a white Prismacolor pencil, a uh, fine liner, I guess, is a Pigma, Pigma graphic with archival ink. Very nice. And then we've got some black paper here uh, for her to use with that white pencil and a sketchbook. So I'm probably just going to have her work right through in this sketchbook. And she, there's plenty of pages in here. Um, for her to do extra drawing as well as she would like. And then what I'll probably have her do is that when she does, uses the black one, I'll probably have her just like glue or tape it into here so it's all together. So this is going to be her art supplies to go with her drawing book. So that's Artistic Pursuits Drawing with Graphite Pencils. I am looking forward to my daughter doing this. I feel like she'll really enjoy it. it. It is something she requested this year to specifically learn more about drawing and I'm glad to have this curriculum in hand. Hopefully at the end of this year, I'll be able to do more of a review for you and share with you if she liked it or not and what her thoughts are. But I did just want to give you this peek into the curriculum before we use it. Until next time, I hope you and your families are all safe and well. Bye.